Hello everybody, it is Scott Summerton of the Guilty Pleasure Cinema. It's also Scott with Scott's Exclusives. Remember that? Yeah, I still do it. There's just not been anything to do. Um, there's been a few things here and there, like the poutine from Arby's, but that's not really worth a thing. Like it, is it? I don't think so. But, something's come up. I am a huge fan of chicken and waffles. There are two restaurants in town that do it. One's called the Sovereign Room, it's a little, a little pub. And they do it with this big waffle and chicken on it. And they had the apple sauce. It was great. I went back again and had like strawberry sauce. And I'm like, oh, I want the other sauce. And like, no, we change it up. It's going to be different. Well, we never know what it's going to be. Well, that's no good. I didn't like it as much. But then my friend does little teas. You already know the joke. Little then a small T. Apostrophe S because her name's Tanya. Little teas. Okay. She's running a place and every now and then she has a chicken and waffle sandwich. It's a chicken breast breaded with the stuff on it, the cheese and one on the bacon, and then waffle and waffle. They're toasted, and it's got this mayonnaise-maple syrup combination. I hate mayonnaise, but you can't taste it in this. That's the sauce, and it's a glorious sandwich. But now there's a new one. Ken Domic already reviewed it, so he beat me to it today, but I asked Matt, is this in Canada only, or is the oven in the States? He said, not in the States. So we have it. KFC is doing chicken and waffles. But it's not just any chicken and waffles. No, no. KFC, which delivers, has a waffle double down. Now the double down, I don't need to explain that to you. But I love it. I love that they own up what it is about, why have a bun? Why not just two pieces of chicken? That's the sandwich. They know what it is. They own up to it. It is glorious and amazing and hilarious. And I love it. That's what they did for this. They took a waffle and put it in between. You're going to see a picture and you're going to see it in a second. But they put a waffle in between with this aioli sauce. I had to look this up. I, I, th there's there's the, the versions of what this thing is. I had to go and do research and try to figure out what it is. And there's actually two versions. And I, what? Why? Why? It's not loading. I'm stalling. It's two Big Crunch fillets, real Belgium waffle. That should say Belgian, not Bel... They spelled Belgium... I'm, I'm going to put the picture itself up here. Belguim. That should be G-I-A-N. Or if it's going to be Belgium, spell it right. With maple aioli sauce. But there's also the zinger with two zinger fillets and the rest. And they spelled Belgium wrong there as well. Um, these are in Canada, and there's three pricing options. You can get the sandwich itself for $9.29. I know that's a lot, right? It's Canada, that's, yeah. You can get the combo, which is per person. You get the sandwich, zinger or normal. You get the individual fries and a can of Pepsi or whatever like that for $10.29. So for an extra dollar, you get a drink and fries. That's not bad. For another dollar on top of that, eleven twenty nine, you get the box meal, which is everything I said, the sandwich, the drink, and the fries, but also a side. So like coleslaw, that kind of thing. We don't have like the potatoes and biscuits here, which is, I want those, but we don't. Um, so I went with the box meal initially, thinking I'll get that one, that's my dinner, thumbs up. Because I came home from work and ordered this right away and it's delivered. Uh, but then when I went in there, I said, oh, there's also the zinger. Which one do you want? I went, give me the double down combo, fries, drink, and sandwich, normal. And then I'll buy a zinger. And I saw it was a dollar difference. I figured I'll get this two combos because I may as well get a dollar for extra fries and a can of pop. Because a can of pop, is that's, that's expensive. Got my plate. Got my napkins and my fork and ketchup. Another fork. A lot more ketchup. All right, so we've got this bag. And we've got this bag. And a boatload more ketchup. And my drinks. I'm going to need one of these. I Yeah, I'm drinking diet. I'm There we go. So there's the receipt. So overall, by the way, there's a $5 delivery charge here in Canada. And they tax that. <laughs> they absolutely tax that. Because why not? Um, this was $30 altogether for two of these with delivery and tax and a tip, because I'll tip the delivery guy. Why not? 
I wouldn't tip in person if it was just walking in and there's the dude. So KFC, that simply says special on it. I don't know which one's which. I'm going to try both just so you guys know. Uh, one says special one, one says special two. Well, ain't that great. That smelled spicy. So we'll save that one for after. That smells normal. All right, so this is still very hot. And there it is. There it, oh, I can smell that maple aioli sauce. Wow. Okay. So that is a waffle, a Belgium waffle, a Blum Gum waffle is here. That is nothing to sneeze at. There is, again, this is literally just a Belgium waffle with this maple aioli sauce, which is actually... It looks like the picture. It's, it's drizzled perfectly all around it. And then the two big crunches. So, like, that, that's almost presentation style of big opening, but I don't want to bite there. I'm going to bite over here. Try to get as much of this as I can. Here we go. I might have to go a few bites before I get... This thing is heavy. I haven't had KFC for a bit, so I've been, been kind of, kind of wanting it. Oh yeah. I didn't watch Ken Domic's review yet, um, but I did see in his header he put best item on the menu. He's right. Oh my god. So that maple aioli is literally tasting like that stuff that my friend Tanya makes. So take some mayonnaise and take some maple syrup and just whisk it together. Like stir it up real, real quick. That's what this is. That's what you'll get. I'm looking forward to this next bite with all that in there. My God, this is, yeah. Hmm. The juicy KFC chicken works so well with the thick soft waffle and the that maple aioli just combining it all together because I've, I've accidentally had maple syrup on chicken before and realized oh how did I not know that is amazing that is my dinner that is glorious that is part one because I'm going to try that zinger here as well I'm going to polish that thing off I'm not going to do like Ken does and eat it and do all the things. That's that's his thing. I simply come on here, and as far as some people are concerned, when I see it on Matt's channel, tell stories which people don't care about. They just want to see me eat the food. I might do a version where it's just literally like, and that's it. I don't know why Ultimate Warrior scrunked. Palette cleansed. Let's go to special meal two. Now this one is not big crunch ones. These are zingers, but I presume it's like the zinger fillets are the same, right? Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh look at the red. Oh no. Oh, that looks amazing. Wow. So, my spice tolerance is not all that great. But, I like spice as a flavor, not the heat. So, I mean, I, I know if I ever get on the main show with Matt, he will wreck me with something. And that's fine. But, the zinger, this is like the level, like, this is enjoyable heat for me. I enjoy the zinger. 
perfect. It's just like, yeah. So, let's go for it. I don't see the aioli sauce. Oh, it's in there. The aioli sauce is in there. Um, I'm going to go for this side. Looks like I can get a bit of everything on this, so... Wow, the kick of the spice only hits at the end. Everything else is waffle and maple. I don't notice it at all until the end there. There's a bit of a kick. I'll go a bit deeper on the bite here. I'll show you how big that chicken piece is, so. Hmm. I can't decide. Cause I love the zinger double down. This is really good. Ooh, there's a spice. One more big bite. The deep inside is where it's going to be good. Because that's the juicy chicken. Oh my god, that's good. Holy crap. All right. KFC needs to stop selling everything else. That spice is kicking my, my throat back here. They need to stop selling everything else and rename themselves into the Waffle Double Down. WDD is it. Because those things are freaking amazing. I can't explain enough. I'm looking forward to watching Ken's review because when he loves something, he loves it. Um, his review scale is like, go out and get it. Um, I use the matte scale with the different scores, so it's 5 out of 5, seal of approval <coughs> for both. Um, considering it's like 9 something for a sandwich, for a dollar you will get a can of pop and fries. For another dollar, you'll get a little thing coleslaw. I opted out of that. I saved two bucks. Um, get it. Get it now. Get it again. And then get more. I can't sum that enough enough. So, thank you for watching. That has been Scott's Exclusives. The first in, I think, six months. There's not been stuff, but this is it. Why the hell don't Americans have this? When Lay's did the flavors, um, those different chip flavors, we didn't get chicken and waffles up here. I found ways to get it. I had a guy. But... We, we, we never got it. So this that, that's, an, that's an American thing. I don't understand why only Canada is getting it right now. So sucks to be you guys because you're missing out on the amazingness. When I, say, <coughs> when I say $9, that's like seven American, maybe even six fifty. So bring your dollars up here. Cross the border. If you're in Duluth, come to Thunder Bay and get these things. We have four KFCs here in Thunder Bay. Buy them. Because it'll be cheaper for you, and you'll support our economy locally. Yeah. So thanks for watching. This is Reckless Eating off, uh, obviously, here. My stuff is at guiltypleasurecinema.com, youtube.com slash cyclopscott. That's also on Twitch. I stream live on Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern with Box Officer or Box Office Reviews. I'm going to start doing some gaming as well. I'm on Zion Mainframe Gaming. I'm on Jabba Radio. I'm on a lot of things, and I'm really saying more than I want to because I want to eat those sandwiches right now. I'm probably eating both tonight. I really shouldn't. And I'm probably going to save that zinger for later. Because I need to have some restraint. It's going to be hard. That's how good they are. But thank you for watching. See you next time.